Alrighty folks, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. Hey, appreciate each and every one of y'all <coughs> taking time to watch the videos. I really do, appreciate it. Subscribers 100%. If you haven't subscribed, check out the rest of the channel. You might want to subscribe because you might like what's going on. So, let's, let's get started in this video. So what we're going to talk about today is we're going to do a comparison of what we have compared to what we're going to have when we go to the new setup. Okay? And I got a list. So this is gonna help me not repeat myself 50 times. So I got a list. All right, hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. But I haven't done a, haven't done a ride along in a long time. So I know you guys appreciate the ride along. So let's get started. So first off, the 6.4 intake, we're moving to the Holly High Ram intake. You guys have seen these these before. I've done a couple different ones, but I never did a comparison. So we're going from the 6.4, which is a plastic intake. It also has the short and long runners. We're taking that intake and we're going to the high Holly High Ram, which is a metal intake, which is going to take a lot more boost. Because you know the deal. That's where where we intend on going. More boost. Right, so that's it for the for the intake manifold. The cam, we're going to a new custom grind cam from MMX, from the Comcam 270 cam that we currently have. The Comcam 270 cam has been an awesome cam, I'm telling you. The car has made great power, uh, and, and you guys have seen the dyno runs. You know the car makes great power. You see the car run run the one nine. Unfortunately, it's only one. But y'all seen it run the one nine, and it's ran multiple tens, uh, ten O's, multiple ten ones, and ten twos and ten threes. So it's arguably she's a low ten car, not a nine car because we only did one. But we're gonna get a lot more nines when we move to this new setup. But that's the that's the. Um, that's the cam situation. Uh, we, we talked to MMX, ran down the entire build with them. Uh, told them we were primarily concerned with performance, but a little lope wouldn't be a bad thing. So looking at the looking at the cam specs, uh, and I'll, I, I may put those out later. Uh, I may not. We'll see. But uh, looking at the cam specs, I, I think we're I think we're going to get definitely going to get some lope. So, uh, let's move on to fueling a little bit. Injectors. We're moving from 1050X injectors, because uh, right now they're, they're pretty well maxed out. Roughly 85 to 87% wide open throttle, give or take. Uh, so when you get into that 80, 85% uh, injector duty cycle, it's time to start thinking about new injectors. So we're going from 1050X injectors to 1650 injectors. So we're gonna have plenty of room to grow um, with what we're doing. So we should we should have we should have some decent room. Now the pumps, we're not gonna upgrade the pumps yet. We are gonna go to a three pump triple pump setup. Uh, the four. All I'm gonna do is send off uh, this double. They'll swap it out, make it a, a triple pump, send it back, put it in. Boom, we're done. Uh, so we are going to go to a triple pump setup, just not right now. Uh, so pulley size, we're going from a 3.6 pulley to a 3.2 pulley. Uh, and just rough calculations, my rough calculations, that's going to give us another two to three pounds of boost, give or take. Maybe more, maybe less. We'll have to see when we start running things. Uh, but hopefully that gives us a couple extra pounds of boost and uh, you know we'll, we should see some pretty decent numbers uh, adding two or three pounds of boost. All right, another thing that's gonna change, I know much much to the uh, chagrin of a lot of people, uh, my hot girlfriend being one of them, the shaker's gonna have to go. You guys know the deal with that Holly High Ram uh, and the tick intercooler which we'll get to in a second um, it's just not gonna fit with the shaker hood and I'm not gonna cut up a nice shaker hood uh, so I got 
got one guy interested that had hit me up one time. You know, he wanted the shaker in the hood. If you want the shaker in the hood, let me know. If you want the 1050 injectors, let me know. If you want the 270 cam, let me know. Uh, the 6.4 intake and the throttle body and stuff is already, already taken, already called for. So that's already sold. But if you want any of the other stuff, uh, let me know. So we're going from back to where we were, cutting the hood. So we're going from a shaker hood to a stock hood so we can cut it out, put in the Holly High Ram and the, uh, the tick intercooler. The last thing we're changing up is we're going from air to air, the Pro Charger gave us, to the uh, air to water tick intercooler that goes in with the Holly High Ram. That's going to help out considerably. Uh, one, it's going to keep the, the IATs way down because we got the ice box as well. Uh, so we're definitely going to keep the IATs down. Uh, we do have a small heat exchanger that's going to go up front that runs through the, the intercooler as well so we can still daily drive the car when we need to. So some of the things, some of the things that are going to stay the same that aren't going to change the heads are going to stay the same. We are getting new springs because these springs have been on for a long time. So we are going to get new springs. They're going to be PSI 1515 springs. Same springs that are in the car now. Uh, this, we talked about this a lot. The displacement is also going to stay the same. Uh, roughly. Alright, it is going to go from a 345 to a 347, 348, somewhere around in there. Because we did bore, uh, bore the, uh, the block out 20 over. So it is a little bigger than 345, but still well within the 5.7 liter launcher, right? The D1X, for now, we're going to stay with the D1X. So if you know, eventually we're going to move to the F1A94. But if you or you know anyone that's interested in the D1X setup minus, uh, minus the brackets and the expansion, the coolant expansion tank, because I got to keep those to run the F1A94. If you know anyone that wants a partial D1X set, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram. Uh, I'm willing to sell my D1X so I can move up to uh, that F1A94. And for the most part, we're going to stick with the 75 shot of nitrous as well. So the nitrous is still in the ball game. So that's just a quick rundown of, of what I have and what the difference is going to be when we go to the new setup. There you go, folks. Uh, a side by side comparison. It's going to be up on the side here. I should have said that first. Uh, you saw it up on the side here. You can go back and look at it. Uh, yeah, and that's what we're doing. And actually, we're doing it much quicker. We're actually going in. I put this up Saturday, uh, the first. We're going in tomorrow, the second, uh, to start the swap. So be prepared for that. Those videos are coming. But that's going to do it for this one. If you're stopping it for the first time, please check out the rest of the channel. If you like what's going on with the rest of the channel, do me a few things. Like, subscribe, smash the bell, shoot me comments, share it on your social media. I'll definitely appreciate it. Shake and Bake will definitely appreciate it. Because every red penny out of YouTube goes right back into Shake and Bake. That's it for this one, folks. Until next time.